what happens when someone goes below the Mariana Trench? Not humans, of course, because of the pressure, but some machine can we find another life form? So for those of you who don't know, the Mariana Trench is the lowest uh, known place in the seafloor, on the seafloor. So it's it's about 11 or so kilometers below the surface of the ocean. It is so deep that if you placed Mount Everest in it, there would still be a couple of kilometers or so left. So the top of the Mount Everest would still be two or two, or two and a half kilometers below the surface of the ocean. That's how deep the Mariana Trench is. And I think this, the, the pressure, the water pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is about more than a thousand times the atmospheric pressure that we experience over here on the surface of the planet. So it's very deep and the, uh, the, and the water pressure is very, very high. And yet people have gone to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in special submersibles, special submarines that are purpose built to withstand that sort of pressure. And we have also sent uh, robotic uh, submarines to this place. And surprisingly, we have observed life forms there. Certain kinds of fish have been observed, certain types of crustaceans have been observed, giant amoebas have been observed. So yes, life does exist even at that intense depth and that incredible pressure. So that's the thing about life. Life, sir, life apparently is able to survive almost anywhere on this planet or inside the planet. I mean, recently they have found certain very ancient rocks that are millions of years old and it seems that there are bacteria thriving in there. I mean, living in there. They are not exactly thriving, but they are there inside this incredibly ancient rock and they are not dead. They are dormant, but they can come back to life. So that's the strange thing about life on earth. It survives somehow, anyhow. 